If you guys ever run across an M12 battery that is not charging, it's giving you the warning that, hey, something's wrong, we have the possibility to fix this. Now, this battery here is pretty well gone. Let's just take some voltage on it and see what it's going to show us. Five volts. That's pretty bad. 4.9. If we take a standard M12 that is actually working, you should get 12. So this one's pretty bad. Let me show you what I'm going to try to do to make this guy work. So if we take a look at our M12 one more time, it's probably dropping quick, 4.4 volts. If we take a look at our M18, this fully charged is going to give us somewhere in the realm of 20 volts. So what we're going to do, we're going to match this up. On this case, we have the positive, it says C3 plus, C1 minus here. We are going to take and make white the positive. And when you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure that nothing is touching on the other end once we connect these up. Make sure those are apart because you will get a spark. There is no doubt there. And getting these in here so they stay is very important. You don't want to get them too far. Again, white is positive. Slide that guy in there so it stays. Black is going to be negative for us. And we're going to let that sit for a minute. Basically what's going on inside this cell is that we have one cell, two cells, that is below the standard voltage of what it should be. So if the charger was to charge it, it feels like it could be dangerous, so it's shutting itself off. In this case, we're jump-starting this battery and you can see smoke. So it's getting hot at this point in time, right? So let's take a quick look at what we have for voltage. Six point three. Again, not going to be enough to get us there. So while this is not happy, we are going to do this one more time and watch for that heat on those wires. So we're hot. Okay, from there, go onto our charger. This will usually take a little bit of time to charge it, time out. And at this point, it looks like it is coming up with a battery error, but notice it's a different error. So if we pull this out, go back in, it's usually a thermal error, and you can feel this pack is very, very hot. We were pushing quite the voltage in it, so it's thermally timing out. Let's take a look quick here, if we can. Check what our voltage is. This is something you guys got to be careful with, but we are up to 8 volts, which is pretty decent compared to where it used to be except for the fact now that we are hot. It's cooling quick, but at the same point, not fast enough for the charger. I'm going to throw this thing in front of a fan. After setting that guy in front of a fan for a couple minutes, it dissipated the heat. That should get us to a point where this battery pack will actually charge. Does this work with M18 batteries that are below where they should be? If you take another M18 battery and kind of jump to it, yes, it will work. Why am I taking an M18 to an M12? It just seems to happen faster, but at the same point, you got to be very careful. You don't overload it, get it overly hot. So you can bring these batteries back. That is something that is just, you need to be careful with it. But 
Very possible, we're still charging here. That's good, we're gonna wanna watch this battery. I usually put a white mark on these just to make sure that they're gonna be okay for a while. I don't leave it charged while I'm not here. Sometimes I'll even put them outside if they get very, very hot. Kind of let them be on their own. Be careful, but here's a way to save your M12 batteries if they do go bad. I'm sure this could be a little bit controversial, so leave your comments below. It will work. Trust me on that one. Be careful if you do it. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.